Yo, it's good, it's your boy Tattoo. You watching the Dirtbag Dan Show. Boy, I got my mind on cake. Boy, boy, I got my mind on cake. Hustle every night and day. Boy, I got my mind on cake. Shia, what's up? It's your boy, Dirtbag Dan. Very special edition of the Dirtbag Dan Show. Uh, uh, I had some friends in town, and I said, fuck, you guys are all here together. It would be retarded for your fans. If we didn't get an interview, please introduce yourself to my stupid fans who might not know who you fucking psychopathic individuals are. Yeah, what's up? My name is Mars, Pittsburgh, California, Bay Area horrorcore artist. You know what I'm saying? Doing my thing. It's your boy, Kosher. I don't give a fuck where I'm at. That's about it, bitch. <laughs> that these guys, we drank really early, so it's been a, it's been a fun day. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We're bro. in motherfucking San Jose at the Dirtbag Dance Show, and I am Kung Fu Vampire. Right. Chilling. I think these are MCs. Like, if you know one of these MCs, then you know all of these MCs. A lot of work you guys have done together. Um, I never got an opportunity to rock a show with you, Mars, but we played with Kosher before while we were on the uh, Hunger Pains tour. But I've actually seen you with Kung Fu on tour. I don't know, 2010 a couple, a couple or a couple, or at least one. Oh, nine, ten, maybe. Uh, something like that. The dark ages. <laughs> the dark ages. This is a dark, like the, the dark side of uh, hip hop being represented right here. And fucking what I think is tight and what I've always thought is tight because I grew up on some NorCal rap shit is the connection of the horrorcore scene to the Northern California gangster rap scene. You know what I mean? And like just that. And I, and I think you largely uh, are responsible for a lot of that shit. I think it's like a lot of people look at Spice One or X-Rated and Brother Lynch and not knowing that all that shit is pretty much connected together. It's all the same thing, you know what I mean? There's, there may be different elements of like gangster rap or or horrorcore mm -hmm. and, and, or just, you know, like in the 90s, like Nas, you know, when I was 12 and went to hell to snuff in Jesus, people were like, oh shit. Yeah, 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 but yeah. People took that way farther and it became a thing, you know, especially like battle rapping up. The worst thing you could do to somebody is going to be some horrific shit. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. We take it there all the time. I think battle rappers <laughs> go beyond horrorcore. No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> it's Look, I, yeah. It's it, about your fucking mom fuck has her. AIDS. Well, this is the thing. I <laughs> fucked her. Second, I fucked you. Next, gave you AIDS, bitch. <laughs> like, Shouts. I mean, I mean and, and, you know, I'm with that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm that goofing Those are some next level <laughs> bars. We haven't got next to all bars. fuck you yet bars. <laughs> we haven't got there yet in battle rap, but we're, go we're getting there. We're vastly approaching that like region I think, of it. I think Frank Stacks might have said uh, he's probably. Uh, we somebody. watched we watched the battle with O'Shea today, and he said that he was going to suck dick. He said that he was going to Van da Van Dam the dude's granddad, and then he also <laughs> said that he was going to suck his dick too. Damn. Like, which is like, I guess, like, I mean, if you're really trying to fuck with somebody, and you're like, I'll fucking suck your grandpa's dick. There's no like, rebuttal whoa. to that. You can't really. Yeah, you can't really. So say battle that rap is porn core. I would say this, like, this is the difference, <laughs> is that, and and I think this is probably why you guys would think it was worse is the battle rap shit like enters a realm where especially like with mr fab and arsenal which just happened uh did you just call him mr mr fab hey, with show mr your, show you know mr fabulous mr fabulous in case you didn't know it stands for it's fabulous mr fabulous <laughs> no uh mr fab uh and and arsenal battled and uh arsenal's whole first round was like your fucking dad died of aids and all Fuck your little daughter's wow. head into a wall and fucking just wild shit. Just insane, crazy. And people in the audience, they could not handle this because a lot <laughs> of them weren't uh, like battle rap fans. They were Mr. Fab fans. So they came there to see Mr. Fab battle and they're familiar with his daughter and his family. His family's there. And, and we're they're a little just different like, in the Bay, man. We don't just say like, shit like no, that. You know? He can't live. <laughs> like they were freaking out. Yeah. And that's like the thing with, the, with battle rap is like they say real shit. You know what I mean? They're talking about people's, like, the reality of people's lives. Whereas, like, you guys are painting a picture of some fucked up shit, but ultimately it's art. It's not like this, this happened to fucking this dude today or this is going to happen to you. You know what I mean? And that's, what, that's where battle rap crosses that line. I like to think of what I do is all the stuff that I would like to do, but just haven't got a chance to do yet. <laughs> haven't got a chance to do yet. Yeah. It's funny you say that because yeah, I have a so twisted version of that. that. My version of that is all the shit I really want to do if this was 1890 and DNA wasn't around, because I'm okay. just not willing to go to prison okay. over the shit just, I want to do. You can't just come in anything these days. You, know you I mean? can't <laughs> just come in anything. Okay, Bro, I watch CSI. They find cum everywhere. <laughs> it's all over. Shit is ridiculous. They extract it nah, from the shower If you put a black curtain. light on my hands, it would look like fucking 
Times Square. It's glowing and shit. <laughs> it would look like it, you had superpowers and shit. It'd be like, woo. What the fuck? Olympic Y'all torch. Are some weirdo ass names. All right. I don't know. <laughs> All right, says the guy with his fucking <laughs> eyelid <laughs> set, dude. Hey, but I ain't trying like, to be around are... with a condom on either. So okay, you know fair enough. So, yeah. I, I, this is the way I think of it. <laughs> Human beings, or at least males, like we've denied, like, and, and through, like, the... Uh, Expansion of civilization have like denied the base instincts for mammals, which is to like fight, fuck, you kill everything that's in front of you. You know what I mean? So you look at everything like, oh, I'd fight you, I'd fuck you, I'd kill you. You know what I mean? Like just inherently, like that's how you look at things. But you're not supposed to do any of those things. You can fuck some of the things, you can fight some of the things. You can't kill any of the things, really. You know what I'm saying? Join the joint episode. Yeah. Don't burn. The, oh, look at that. Look at that. Light it up. No, let's smoke that instead of lighting it on fire like that. You know, that's the Sheesh. game I actually play at the airport when I have a lot of time. Is like, would I fuck them, fight them? Or I kill them? Like, yeah. Airport no, game? Yeah. That's the airport game? No, yeah. You can't Modern do that out style. loud at the airport or that will shut your shit down. You're not getting on that You're plane. You're not getting on that plane. Fuck, fight. Bomb, whatever the fuck, you know. <laughs> oh, the B word. At the I kind of feel like it's a really, really small line that gets crossed between the Dexter type people and the people who don't do the shit. Like, and I feel like those people with that big brow ridge, you know, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, um, the cro magnon brow ridge like what? Dexter has. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <I> <laughs> I feel like that there's some he kind of connection. Like, I think they did good shit. casting that. Man, I don't really... know what the fuck you're talking about, but it sounds interesting as fuck. <laughs> I feel like that brow ridge is Go the on. is the link to people okay. who were down. So to kill look out for shit. motherfuckers who got like if they uh, got that brow. If they got a heavy brow, they got no problem chopping your those, body. Those up. fools, I, mean, I, I was looking for some. Tw- I was looking for tweezers earlier though. You know what I'm saying to uh, arch my shit though. What's up? Uh, you you can't. You can't. Bra- you got a flat forehead. You're a pussy. You, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you get that brow sticking oh, you out, so you're shit. deadly. You know what I'm like, talking about, right? This you can, I, feel, I, feel, I can tell I by your really eyebrows really. that you ain't killing shit. <laughs> <laughs> no brow ridge? Well, I'll fight nah, you, you know what I think, like, man, if you look at, like, serial killers, like, and I, I fucking, for whatever reason, throughout my youth, like, studied them extensively. Obsessed. Like, pre, pre, like, Dexter or, I knew that or you about know what me, I mean? Like, I knew that. Yeah, about remember you. I used to read like the encyclopedia, like the A to Z, and if I knew you like, ask If you ask young Dirtbag Dan when we were like teenagers, hey man, who's your favorite artist? He'd be like, Brother Lynch, motherfucker. He just yeah, got no. some like Metallica, Brother Lynch. I, I fucking read well, serial yeah, killer see, books. I was, yeah, I always listened to fucking like crazy death metal. Like I wouldn't settle for like pussy shit. Like I was always like, More you know. Is, is Sepultura oh, even hard? Is no, that Sepultura, on that level? Like, up, level to, right? Sepultura up to Arise is like the best shit ever. You know what I mean? And then like <laughs> it gets a little, like Chaos AD is a great album. But like beyond that, it was, it was kind of, they were getting into like the rootsy shit and away from like the fucking bestial devastation. You're a Slayer head too, huh? Totally. You're a seen him in concert a bunch of you times. You just really can't beat that. Yeah. Can but, I mean, like, it was beer? just, like, kind of, like, my rebelling against Please. fucking whatever, what I, I thought, like, Western civilization fucking... Di- you know, I liked wearing fucking sh- shirts with, like, pentagrams on it and shit, and it would fuck with people, and I'd be like, yeah, that's right. You I, know just like I, my brother, bro. Still, Do that. I still fuck with this motherfucker, right? What is this? And it, but see, oh, and Maryland, then... Maryland, Maryland. You know and I, and, and I like, fuck with it. I, I this is my, my shit with Marilyn Manson is, Thank is like, I had to fucking come to him later because I was... At the when Marilyn Manson existed, I was at the point where it was like, man, I can't fucking, I can't like this because everybody likes this shit. That's fucking lame. Like I like yeah. King Diamond. Mm-hmm. I don't like Marilyn Manson. You know what I mean? I feel, I'm like, I, feel, I got no time. I but then I like later in life, you go back and you're like, oh man, this shit was crazy. Like this I mean, was crazy that everybody liked this. Some of the best shit. Though. Some of the best shit though. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, back in the day. When everybody was on it, but it, it, even before that, you know, like uh, I remember skateboarding to like him, Rob Zombie, and, and Corn and shit back in the day. But it was all the older shit, and I was in Colorado, not Montana at that time. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was just, it was just good music, you know, uh, quality fucking shit. They yeah. wanted to fucking throw people up in the air too, and yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to get shit, in the pits, you know man. Saying? That was Whatever. like a good, a big like release for me as a kid. We go to shows often, and you would bleed there. You know what when I mean? When was the last like, time you got in the pit? Fuck, I was like 19, maybe 20. It probably sleep. hurt now. No, yeah, I, I wouldn't fucking do it. Like hurt. I've been to multiple shows and like <laughs> pits <laughs> arose, and I was like, <laughs> you walked away and shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna I, fucking. I'm get the guy with a drink. Yeah, I'm my guy with a drink, like walking away. I'm like, oh, there's a pit. Hey, but now like it's like an organized. It, now it's like an organized fucking thing, though. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. they, they all circle each other for a oh, minute. Oh, get like, the how, fuck you know out of here! And then they used to be Nazis in the middle, they... and they would punch you. 
That's what would happen. They would be like, stay away from the Nazis. And we would try and hit people into the Nazis because they would just stand in the middle and be like, yeah, boom, and then just fucking punch people as they came by. It was so weak. Every once in a while, you'd fucking clip one of those fucking Nazi douchebags. They'd come out like to push somebody, and you'd be like, oh, now, bam, and you'd fucking flip them over. Were you ever in over. pits on the lawn at the shoreline? Yes, and you Where would roll. Where it was roll. on the hill, you'd on get those fuck, hill? you get hit, and you would roll. I got hit by a bitch at an Iron Maiden concert, this big bitch. She was like six foot, and she fucking blah, and hit me, and I fucking and the stonewalled sun was in my eyes. Like, we came out each other, and she hit me, and I went, and she just fucking, mm, you know what I mean? <laughs> and she had the hill on her side, right? So I fucking went back and did a couple rolls. Oh, shit. For the, so for the, uh, not, for the non-Bay Area heads, we got an amphitheater here. It's very famous. Everybody goes to it. It's called the Shoreline here in San Jose. People call it Mountain View. It's fucking San Jose, bro. Uh, call it Santa Cruz. They call it San Francisco. They call it San Francisco. It's in, it's in Mountain View. It's 10 minutes from the ninth largest city in the fucking country. It's San Jose. Yeah. Anyways, we got a, a, a nice, it's a nice, it's a huge amphitheater, holds, what, 30,000 or whatever, but the, the seating's one thing, and then all us broke people are on the lawn, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. highly angled at like a 40 degree yeah. angle, <laughs> and so the pit is on this fucking grass hill that people have been pissing on and drinking and sm- get doing fucking. shrooms and fucking mm. and sweating and puking on, and then they have a pits <laughs> that you basically get fucked up in and roll down the hill and hit the We got metal. so far away from what I was saying, but one more amazing story. <laughs> Because the, about yes. Shoreline. Okay, so I've one, I, I'm fucking like 16 years old, and I'm on acid. And we're at fucking uh, <laughs> some kind of fucking concert. Uh, Ozfest. So I'm like fucking just smashed. Fucking we're, we're taking bong rips in a circle. And I'm waiting for Slayer to go on like all day. And then all of a sudden I hear. Dun, 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 and I'm like, what the fuck? And I just stand up and start running. And I'm running down the hill. And I was at the top. And I'm running down the hill. And there's just groups of people sitting like in a circle. And I'm on fucking acid. Running as fast as I can. Is starting just, and you're ah, running, jumping over, hurtling over groups of people. And there's sc- women screaming and shit. Like it was just like a blur. And I'm fucking. Ah, I'm running, I finally get to the pit and just fucking rah, go in that shit. I look up and the first thing I see on the screen, eye surgery. The Slayer fucking like they're playing on the fucking big amphitheater screen. Just someone just getting their fucking eye dug in. And I'm, I was like, oh my God, that's terrifying. And that whole like moment of just running down the hill and then looking up and seeing the fucking eye surgery is like embedded in my Mind forever. Like, if I ever have flashbacks, I'll be running, and then I'm like, oh, my God, eye surgery! You know what I mean? Jumping over people. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of that scene, if anybody's seen Lost, where they strap the guy down later in the scene. The season, if you guys haven't seen Lost, that shit is... Stop watching it, like, two seasons (laughs) in. (laughs) It is weird. It's fucking weird. It just gets worse and worse and worse. No, I don't I know. I liked it. it. The last season it. is is whack. But uh, someone's gonna be like, anyways. "Fuck you! That show's great." But I had zero <laughs> intentions for it. I I thought it was gonna be absolute garbage. And one day I fucking started cranking through it on Netflix, and the shit is fucking weird. But they tie a dude down and make him watch eye surgery, and it's not not. Fucking <sighs> that's fun. a. That's not that's really. fucking life it sometimes. Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't even watch fucking TV. Oh, I like. So I have I'll no idea what's going on. He's like, I don't even watch TV, man. I just read serial killers. So look, uh, so, uh, Ice Man. I was talking about. So I was talking about like serial killers in general. Like most of them, like ninety percent of them, you know, are fucking not slick douches. You know what I mean? There's very like very 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 few like socially. Not socially awkward, like can move among people. And so, there was very few people that could do that shit. It's Did we talk about this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Did you, me, and recognize talk about but this it's just at like a gas station whole, on tour? Probably. But that whole because uh, uh, we talk about weird shit. I, I think we talked about B two K Raider. We talk about Raider, the Raider dude. What's yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, uh, uh, B two K. Uh, BTK, bind, torture, kill. Uh, Raider. Dennis Raider. I was thinking of that. Oh, you see that? Uh, it's, that's all barbecue. fucking stuck in my head. <laughs> I thought B2K was the group that Omari <laughs> yeah, was in. You're absolutely right. <laughs> you're absolutely <laughs> correct. It is that. It is definitely that. But is, it, uh, is, it, is it called that? B, he's talking about BTK, uh, who is a serial killer, uh, who is one of the most uh, prolific serial killers. He was amazing. <laughs> he only... He, he was that's only, modern day shit, too. Dude is a fucking <laughs> idiot, for real. He fucking... Uh, he was only like prolific because he was out for like 20 years like he did work and then he fucking went dormant and then he just decided to do work again 
and he fucking would taunt the police. But then he started he taunting the police in the modern era, and he was like, hey, if I send you a floppy disk, will you be able to track it to fucking my location? And they're like, they're like, no, no, of course not. And they fucking send it, and they fucking track it. And then he's like, he, he gets they arrested, and he's it like, to his church he's where like, he was a pastor. He's like, you lied to me. No, he was like a custodial yeah, dude. Yeah, no, he, like that always what? make me. I thought he was wasn't a pastor. A pastor. He was. He, he, he was a smaller. He was just like but a he was dude a who church going guy though. He fucking works he a at a church, bro. Who works he's at a, a church and commits fucking uh, sadistic fucking murders? <laughs> that's. Terrible. I don't know I mean, if there's the any more of a sadistic place on this planet somehow. Yeah, definitely. there's not a more sadistic place in this world than in a church, man. Go walk to a church when nobody's in there, well, that's where and walk to the to rooms in the back. Yeah, hey, go walk to the rooms in the back behind the altar. Just walk around. With a black light. Tell I've me how there. you feel, bro. Tell me how you feel. I get a pain in my ass. That shit is every weird. This shit is dark. <laughs> <laughs> shit is right, dark. My nigga. <laughs> My nigga, my nigga got raped by the priest, though. Oh, man, For it's real. terrible. I don't For like real, to talk huh? about it, but I will today. He's like, but I will today. Yo, that's some, something about the Dirtbag Dan show, bro. It just really goes down here, dude. So are we going to be able to track back to the beginning of this psychotic conversation? Well, I was just saying that serial killers aren't slick mostly. There's not a lot of Dexters. Like, there's a, mostly they're fucking, uh, it's a lot of fucking, like, just Albert Fishes and fucking Ed Geens, just it's a bunch a of social issue. <laughs> Who's the, hey, hold on, hold on. Who's the Ed Gein dude? Like tell he's me, tell okay. Me. So Ed Gein, I, I seen his name. Ed Gein is know. the guy who want to dress up like a woman before. <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh, wear a woman's skin. Uh, he's the guy who uh, they based both Psycho and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on. So that's why people are like very familiar with him. But he he only killed like four or five women, <laughs> older women uh, that resembled his mother. Uh, before that, he was a grave robber, and that's why he had like a crazy assortment Land of like, shade, bo- yeah, all sorts of fuck shit. Around I have two so, questions so, so, for you guys. I want a nipple lambs. belt, but go ahead. Silence, Silence of the Lambs. 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 Fictional, not nah, fictional. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 shit, definitely, you know definitely. So, I guess uh, Buffalo Bill was also loosely based on, on Ed okay. Gein. Here's the here's the question. <laughs> two part question. One, who's the biggest bitch ass serial killer? And two, who's your favorite? Because I'm going to tell you, my favorite is Jeffrey Dahmer, and I'm going to tell you why. Wow. I'm going to tell you he why. He went for the super gay. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to uh, tell you why. The gay like part the, of it, I don't know. The gay about. Casanova killer, bro. He's like, yeah. He's my I like favorite. My killers with, with dead boys in their fridge. He's my favorite <laughs> because I have a theory about killing. Mm hmm. And and it's a it's a weird it's the one thing about me that's peculiar. There's plenty of things that are peculiar. Weirdest show ever, y'all. But this is peculiar because I have a theory that says if you eat it, you can kill it. Okay. And and it's a fucked up theory, and I don't like it, but it's just part of me is like, yo, the dude at least ate it, and it doesn't mean it's okay. What it means is he truly had a problem more that's than he was a pussy. killer. There's always that thought in my mind, like, well, if I eat it, she'll let me kill it. She'll let me kill it. <laughs> yeah. She gonna let me kill this. Let me go deep in this. She gonna let me kill it if I. Eat but no, it. if you feel me on this, like, it doesn't make it okay because it's not cool. You know, yeah. like, he wasn't like he didn't have money. He was starving. Yeah, because they were so, like young boys and all. Yeah, if he was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's really obsessed with that. No, There's an undertone. I'm it's, it's, I'm just saying, nobody should be uh, killing no. young boys. It's nobody not should, I know. It's not but it lets me know that he just wasn't a fucking... Tight, though. Though. It's not, yeah, it's not no, well, that was the anymore. thing. He was really creepy, bro. He wanted to keep them forever. Like, him he wanted to, like... Uh, he, was, he was the guy who, like... No, well, he was trying to make... Zombies, like sex zombies. Well, when you Be- find a good boat hole, you try to. Lock <laughs> you try and get that. If you got the, if it's the B H, you mean. If it's the, the B H, uh, creep back into this. B H. <laughs> ICP songs was Mad Professor. You but know, it just lets me know that, that at least back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. at least it lets yeah. me know that he had a serious fucking problem and he just wasn't killing people to kill them. He was it was he more was to it. To fuck them. There was just more to it with him. He, he just didn't want to be alone. He was a specimen that you should study, not a fucking just a straight up killer. And that's why yeah. I thought he was the most interesting. Because when when you have you seen the interviews of him afterwards, he goes, "I never want. I, I'm sad that I hurt people, but yeah. I don't really." I don't know. I had to do. I just did it. Oh. I, I'm sad though that I did it. He wasn't one of those guys that's like fuck them, fuck you, fucking. He was just a, a, a specimen that I, you would want to learn more about, and that made him interesting to me because you know it's not about killing for him. Oh, that it was more to it. That motherfucker had had like the close calls of the century too. Like his house just stunk, and then he moved, and his apartment stunk, and fucking he was dead, little little uh, we boy. We performed right, right across. The We've street been in the bar. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We performed there. We've yeah. been in the fucking bar where he was picking up the. Gay dudes, yeah, ambassador bro. hotel. It's a nice fucking it's hotel. Really nice down Super there. pimp. But the venue is about as fucking creepy as it gets. If anybody's ever For lives real? in Milwaukee and goes to the Raven, Raven. Milwaukee, 
Dan, you will be there with me. All right, me. sweet. Late. We got to go there. Someone it is sweet. fucking. I'm all I, about creepy venues. Okay, so coolest, sir, I, weak ones, all the ones that fucking. I like uh, Vandersloot. Itchy the Killer is probably that, the coolest. Okay. Itchy there the Killer. Go. Is he even real, though? I don't know. Vandersloot was the dude who fucked the girl in Aruba and probably cool. fucked yeah. her body. And then, like, I'm not cool. they, like, let him go. And yeah. And, like, he killed some other broad because he found out that he killed that one. He's like, yeah. Oh, shit. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's hilarious. Yeah. That guy is a, he, like, he's the one, he's, like, the cruise ship killer, right? Wait, like, this that guy's is not a too long ago, like, 10 years ago? No, no not no, even. It's, it's, Eight years? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the vacation shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would have rapped about him, but there's not so many things that rhyme with Vandersloot, like, damn, she's cute. Damn, she's you know cute. I mean? Vandersloot, damn, damn she's, she's cute. cute. Like, I had to hit her with the Vandersloot. Yeah, yeah. Sloot. We, we was playing poop. Crash Bandicoot. Manage, manage poop. Manage poop. Come on, man. That, the fuck? Man, I hate serial killers. Take it back, though. Right. We, could, I, we could do this. My though. least favorite serial killers, man, are the ones who kill... Because of something with their wife that pissed them off. That oh, shit yeah, to some me. Bitch shit. Like, no, like, you're weak, homie. Some, bitch some money ass. shit. You're weak. You're some weak, money homie. shit or some like I couldn't break up with their shit. You're to weak. me, those are my we I hate them the most because I'm like, bro, twisted, you took a good woman's life because your bitch ass just didn't want to divorce uh, her. Like, figure that shit out, man. You don't gotta murder the bitch. Yeah, you know what I mean? Out like Scott Peterson, you know what I'm saying? That guy yeah, is a bitch, up. man. Fuck that guy. Unless she is taking your money or something like that, then yes, don't murder the bitch. But if I don't condone any your fucking money, kill her, her family, faking, and their fucking uh, second and third generation and shit, or whatever the fuck. Can I just be honest right now? Mm -hmm. I think that I like the impulse killers that just do things because, god damn it, fuck. Yeah, he deserved to die, I see. I'm one of them. If I was going to be one of them. It was just going to be like type a. Of impulse killers, that's lighter. the type I would be in my music. Like, okay. Just to kill because that's what I was feeling at the time and I didn't hold back. Yeah, okay. That's, All right. that's what horror is. And, yeah. and, and I ain't got okay. no fucking. I ain't got no favorite killers or nothing like that. Like, I ain't really. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. <laughs> He was just Man, an, was he was to, an was, amazing ball player. I just player. like white girls, so I was going to say, <laughs> you know, I like how he killed the white girl. Or okay. Whatever, but, yeah. All right. She was probably a bitch. She was probably nah. a bitch. Like, she was right? fucking up. Yeah. You know, I don't she know. She was taking man. money. She was taking I don't money. Know. The money I, was, I just the don't money was getting uh, Leave spent. Your class I don't want any part of this anymore. <laughs> I, I just don't know. <laughs> okay, so and let's, yeah, talk, let's talk about something that has less to do with dead bodies than that. But still significantly dead body laced. Pussy, uh, uh, your your guys' music, uh, fucking. Uh, we were just talking a bit ago about how fucking you made the transition in your career from being guy on a label to being guy with a label. You, what is it? What is it like? Like passing your knowledge on to cats like Daniel Jordan and and you know other horrorcore artists that are coming behind you. You know what I'm saying? I just think coming behind you. I said you didn't <laughs> wow. even say shit. You just let that flow. You're gonna. He was like, oh, he's coming behind you. Know? That's horrorcore. Dan was just coming behind I feel like he was almost there. He was about to say do. something. I'm sorry. I'm he sorry. Him, he didn't give him time enough. I know. I, I fired off first. I was still processing my I couldn't time. get caught with that. <laughs> I couldn't get caught with that one. I had to. This is a Seinfeld it. episode. It was like I smelt it and <laughs> dealt it at the same time. I'm come sorry. Go on. Come back. I didn't mean to interrupt. For the artists that come behind my back. <laughs> Rub it in. Ass. Rub the shit in, <laughs> god damn it. Don't be fucking rude. I got, I, I got into the game <laughs> with like, a, like say I was in Black Market where people were doing things for me, and they weren't doing it the way that I would want shit done. You know what I mean? Yeah. They would be like, oh, it's based on budget from where your imaginary fucking thoughts are going to be turned into this, but we're yeah. going to chop it up into fucking $5 increments and make it stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, if you did it this way, you could use this much to do everything that I wanted to do, but nobody could see what I wanted to do. So it became a point where I just only wanted control over all my shit, whether it was the way what I wrote about, what I talked about, what my beats that I chose, yeah, the, um, the way my artwork looked. Fucking my website, my promotion. I I knew what my fans wanted because I was a fan of the same shit. You know what I mean? And I was a big fan. I'm pretty knowledgeable in all of of what our genre is. Yeah. You know what I mean, so it's like I wanted to do things the way I seen people that had success before me. I seen what they did that was successful, and I seen what people did that weren't like doing the right things or weren't successful or whatever. And I would study <coughs> all this shit so I knew what my path was already. And it was early at the time where when I got into it, people were selling CDs. It wasn't like MP3s and downloads and all that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real money. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So it's like, like I was like, why are you wasting your time doing it this way as a label that has distribution when you can spend half that and do it this way and this is what it's supposed to be. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, the road is already laid out. So like, 
I just always studied people that were doing good. I never like, I never like shunned people that were doing good because I wanted to see them do good because that was the fucking map on where I had to go. Yeah, 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 exactly. So like, I think once I was able to leave a label situation and just start over with my own thinking and the drive to just find out how to do it or to fucking do whatever I had to do to get it done, like, that's why it had to have been done. And I never had no money to do what I did, but it's always made me money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just that fucking Bay Area hustle, though, right? Like, you yeah, got to yeah. take some of that from just growing up out here and seeing how, <laughs> how people do it musically, and you take that into the world, and it's like fucking lambs to the slaughter, bro. Well, they can't why, handle that hustle. That's why when, when me and Kung Fu noticed each other, like, we were self-contained in doing what we were doing. Exactly. And he had the drive, he had the sound and everything, and, like, I was doing it was similar to what we were doing. Like, it was just easier to just fucking use each other's resources for shit. You know yeah. what I mean? So the label thing was always, you know, because everybody has a fucking label, which means it's just like a BMP image on a fucking internet. Yeah, exactly. It's just a logo. And it means even less now, like significantly yeah. less now. You could make a, a label as long as it takes for you to make a fucking logo and think of the name. Totally. You know? And for a while it was just that, you know what I mean? But no. now we have like a movement where like my fans are into his fans and his fans are into me and like... And then we bring kosher into it, and it's it's gravitating towards him. Yeah. And we all have opportunities that each other don't have or share or could use together. So, like, it was we did it much different than a normal situation would have because everybody's trying to get money and, and fuck people and get money off each other and all yeah. that shit. We are a force because we don't give a fuck about each other. And money. it's all artists, right? There isn't, like, just someone there to make money. Like, that, that has no other interest we're besides all, making money, right? Because so it's like, yeah. those people are very fucking necessary. But then when yeah. it comes down to it, like, it, when you have all the tools, you know, it's just another person there whose only focus is making money versus <clears throat> a bunch of fucking artists whose focus is, you know, it's making like, money the most effective, I efficient way. Pleasing the fans, making money, and fucking, you know, going home with a smile on our faces instead of fucking... <laughs> you know, busting our ass for nothing and shit. Well, but right. that's like, that's, that you know, that comes from fucking experience and you guys both have a fucking shitload of it between you. I think what it is, it's like lift, trying to, if we all went outside in the parking lot right now and try to carry your car across the parking lot and then I just tried by myself and I'm like, well, I could get part of the bumper up. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, And then Kung Fu comes up and gets the other part of the bumper and Kosher comes and then we all know people we can call to help yeah, yeah, yeah. to get this fucking car across the parking lot. And together, that's a, that's a, a big team that self-contains each part of it. You know what I mean? And then we all use what our goods for each other, and like it's it's just it's just like a brotherhood, like a friendship. You know what I mean? So you see all these other people that are just like, I only want to do this shit for me, and I only want to do this shit for me. And then I got an opportunity to come. I don't want to give it to him. Yeah. And because if I give it to him, he's gonna have the same shit as me. Like we don't think like yeah, that. Yeah. Or or I know, keep everything within my tight is. circle, and I don't want to fuck with anybody that's outside of my circle, whether or not that's gonna benefit me or help me grow in, in into different markets and, and not expand. Only that, at the yeah. same time, we all don't have the same kind of music, even though it's like kind of lumped in because we're all have. No, like definitely, a, definitely. A all you all image. got your own styles. Yeah, for we sure. got it. We have like a um, an image where it's easier to sell us than compared to just some dude with a face. You yeah, know what I mean, it's like he has the way he looks, and he has the way he looks, and I have the way I look, and then we all have our different sounds. So like, he has a fan base that doesn't necessarily represent what my fan base is. Totally. And same with Kosher's and his, and like, but. Because it's a part of like the same thing, people are interested in it. Yeah, it's it's what? very unlikely that you're gonna go to a show, see one set, and not like the other, get down with the other. Well, you know maybe I mean? maybe they won't, maybe they will. But the whole point is, is there's three fan bases to be pulling in from. Right yeah, now. there's more than that. There's Andrew Jordan, that's it. his shit. And like, yeah. So it's like, it's it's not about the money. It's about the movement. You know what I mean? It's about actually having a friendship enough where one of us is gonna blow bigger than the other. Yeah. No homo. <laughs> but, uh, we're all going to blow. Yeah, we're all gonna, the horror Someone's fans blowing. that come behind you. Yeah. Yeah, then, Someone's then, blowing. Someone they're coming blo behind me. They don't rub something. it in. God damn it. Jeffrey Dahmer's my favorite. <laughs> but yeah, Dan's like, mad. <laughs> Dan's, Dan's <laughs> perplexed. That's, that's, my real, that's real that's shit. Serial killer. That's He's that's totally that's obsessed with my favorite serial killer. It gives him an opportunity to to like go through me on some ghost I'm like, shit. I'm trying to like, like psychoanalyze. He's like, oh, that's not my favorite. It's fucking I, my favorite. Why, did, why does it feel like <laughs> yes, the interview? You're weird, though, Kung, bro. Fu. <laughs> Kung Fu. Kung you're weird. No, we're all very weird. I feel like the interview. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
uh, yeah, the Bay Area hustle is real. Explain to everybody like your sound, like as far as like why why we all kind of fit together. What what is your sound about? I mean, my, I mean, my sound. I don't, I don't know, man. Sometimes I be on some fucking uh, stupid ass, like, I just want to make a motherfucker laugh kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? And it's not even about being dark or, or whatever. I just want them to be like, you know, that's some funny ass shit, or I could, re- I could relate to that, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the fuck. And then other times, I mean, just, I want to be on some serious shit. I mean, I lost all my piercings, you know, the tattoos on my fucking eyes, you know, we'll see what happens to them. But uh, they're not going away. <laughs> I just realized. I, mean, I just no, realized I know, you got I, Carl's I, Jr. stars on your eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> they're Carl's Jr. stars. I mean, I like. I burgers. never realized. I like burgers. I mean, I like burgers. <laughs> they're the Carl's Jr. star. Yeah. Oh, out west where they are, it's called Hardee's. Hardee's. Hey, what's I, Carl's I, Jr.? I, We've I, got Hardee's out here in Montana. Montana. <laughs> Hardy's is I'm weak just saying, as fuck, man. You better. Me and Dan been alone. on tour, but I don't know if he remembers Hardy's. But nah. they don't have shit at Hardy's. <laughs> oh, that's How would you explain like the way you sound compared to like you know what I mean? The- well, I was gonna say, you know, he reminds me of, and this is a compliment. I don't care if people don't like LMFAO. They got some funny at their Damn shit is it. meant to be funny. Uh, <laughs> but he's like LMFAO. I like that shit. Honestly, fuck, fuck. it. I don't give a fuck. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not bitch. mad at that. I, mean, I love those dudes. Hey, a bitch. hey, bro. Well, I'm not he mad. He dances like so fucking. He reminds crazy. me of like uh, a bay sound. He has like the bay mixed with LMFAO mixed no. with a Midwest sound, like a Midwest chopper. So he's got that Kansas City slash Mr. Fab slash LMFAO sound. I honestly believe that with him. And if you hear it, you're like, oh, that's funny, and it's. Sounds like Mr. Fab cracking a joke yeah, like on some fucking shit. Midwest beats, you know, yeah. and that's cool. You know? Yeah, I'm and motherfuckers are clean too. Hell like, that's yeah, the thing is, is, you. is no, he's Kung like, Fu. I'm you. That's who you are, man. To me, like, Kung Fu does, like, just straight up gothic style. Like, he doesn't talk about anything that's not real shit. Like, it's it's more on a positive tip than it is. Yeah, no, real. I think that yeah, I think real. that it's the performance element, like, some, like, in the beginning. You know, when you were yeah. fully on with the makeup and the whole shit, like... That draws people in, though. That definitely draws people in. But nowadays, it's way more about, like, the actual technical fucking ability of the show. The like, how you're rapping, how, you know, the lights go with Jeremy and, and Chris on the drums and bass, and, like, all that shit is, like... Yeah. It, it becomes, like, a very, like... It's visionary-ass show and sound. Totally. Yeah. Like, it's a very... But it's all, you know, like... It's super like technically like no one's no one can say shit about you rapping like you know what I mean like there's mm-hmm. no like oh well he's just up there in a costume and shit it was never that but yeah. now it's like very like it's become this I think I think mainly with Jeremy and Chris and like that whole element of the live show you know what I mean and like the drum it, solo shit is I think just too. stripped down from the full like fucking cello and shit like that like all that was very it was like it. it painted like a huge picture and shit but it was uh all everything together was overall like a big show and now it's just like damn those three dudes are fucking killing it you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. and that's so like from going on tour with you guys like that's what i've seen like technically like just proficient musicianship you know what i'm saying and that i think is rare in rap in general and definitely in horrorcore this has been a fucking awesome thing we get to do to uh, sit down with you guys and bullshit. Uh, yeah. Probably most of your interviews are fucking done by yeah. fucking goons, you know, with fucking heavily faces or like <laughs> third nipple. Tell me about your next album. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, those are my kind of questions. I'm ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about serial killers and but more fucking, serial killers, yeah, the okay. b-hole. Yeah. Uh, got a little gay. Are we doing a recap? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, watch the Dirtbag Dan Show for more of this kind of banner. And, and uh, everybody, let everybody know where they can find you on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good shit. Start from Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Everything is at Kung Fu Vampire. Coming towards me again. What the fuck uh, is wrong with me? I mean, this is where we got in here, so. <laughs> it's, yeah. your, it's your Carl's Jr.'s eyes, bro. They're fucking... <laughs> As he's waking up. He's so much at it. I think you mean Hardy's. 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 Uh, my YouTube is going to be very interesting. We are releasing a with Kung Fu Vampire series. More videos. A lot of videos coming up. First one is Coffee with Kung Fu Vampire. 
And I have a new album out. It is a remix project featuring Kosher, Mars, Dirtbag Dan, Max Mall, Hot yeah. City, Hot Luck, Liquid Assassin, no, no, and no. many other friends of mine. No. Uh, it's called Reanimated. You can get it on iTunes and all that shit. It is amazing. It is a fucking remix album that ended up being my best album. Fun. Yeah. I'm from Vampire. Uh, I don't like you. <laughs> okay. well, Alright man, uh, real quick shit, find me on uh, culture.net, uh, I mean that's about it, you know what I'm K-O-S-H-I-R, saying? K-O-S-H-I-R, right? K-O-S-H-I-R, sure. E, I ain't worried about you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 no girls yeah, here. That's all. How do you pronounce it? Sheer? Sheer? Well, they said Koshai. Close enough. Yeah, and you get all my shit uh, at Mars on everything at Mars. That's tight that he has at Mars. I got a funny right. story about how I got one of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's exactly. had to pump a few people to get the at Mars. You gotta scare the fuck out of me. And you can be scary. <laughs> like, with your resume, you can be super yeah. scary. Check out Mars's Wikipedia for, like, just a fucking... <laughs> it's, it's so deep. I've never seen a Wikipedia. I'm like, dude, I know this guy. 1999. Pull the gun out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is this? Like, Stinky the, 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 the Rapist? <laughs> 2003. It's right. It's home. Well, it's like, also home. known as Stinky <laughs> the Rapist. No tits. You know, Coolest <laughs> alias ever. It's pretty cool to go to your Wikipedia page and be like, Mario Delgado. <laughs> Stinky the Rapist. Stinky the Rapist. I told you, Grandma. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ben. This is Ben. Dermacanshow. Dermacanshow.com. Yeah.